Meta have just put out this new paper called the Free Transformer. And I think it's really curious and really interesting because it really is the first time since we've had the Transformer, which is nearly 10 years now, that somebody has proposed a different LLM architecture. And one of the changes that they are suggesting is that Transformer architecture can look at the entirety of the prediction rather than just looking at what comes previously. They can look at the entire thing in sequence. It says it's remarkable that after almost a decade and in spite of improvements on many aspects of this class of methods, the autoregressive modeling of transformers remains essentially unchanged. So we propose the autoregressive model of the decoder transformer by allowing the conditioning on latent variables. And we propose an implementation that requires a very modest computational and memory usage uh, overhead. So always Meta always thinking about efficiency as well. So paper goes into a, a lot of details. And of course, also there is an article on the decoder about this as well, which is super interesting. And it says, unlike a standard a dis transformer which only sees previous words, the encoder looks at the entire text at once and that lets it spot global features and pick the right hidden decisions. A conversation step then translates these directions into a format the decoder can use. So super, super interesting. And just to put that into context, one of the things that you will often hear people talk about a lot is that are we going to hit a brick wall with this level of architecture? Are we going to reach a point where we can't actually get any better? And that was one of the arguments about GPT-5, that it had not made the big leap forward that we saw between GPT-3 and GPT-4. 